Hello everyone, welcome to Mavs Outdoor Adventures and this section on gear review and how to. Today I'm featuring one of my favorite pieces of footwear to wear when I'm stalking archery mule deer bucks, whether it's in the pine forest, the sage hills, or my favorite, the Arizona desert. I found these leather moccasins to be extremely comfortable, supportive, durable, and most importantly, cactus spines don't penetrate the material. Huge plus when you're stalking through that Arizona desert. It's made by a small husband and wife owned company in the state of Utah, and it's called Lone Peak Leather Company. I've used these moccasins for over four years. This is a black leather that I custom ordered and I want to say that this company is really, really good to work with. They listen to their customers. So it's a little leather booty. And sometimes with this one, I will take and put an old wool sock over on the outside to make it even more quiet. But this past January, I tried a brand new pair. But anyway, with that being said, let's take this review out to the field. Well, this is field review of probably the best stocking game footwear that I've come across in many years. I've had a pair now for five years and I recently bought a new second pair but this, these are basically leather moccasins, little leather booties. They're made by the Lone Peak Leather Company. It's a small husband-wife company out of Utah. These are my old ones I've had for a number of years. What I like about these is they're durable and they're quiet. Now I'm not going to wear these hunting through a marsh or in a in a lot of wet areas. Um, they're not designed for that. That's where you want to use your boots. But out here in the Arizona desert, when I'm stalking desert mule deer or stalking the cows or the coos deer, once I get close, and to me close is, I close the distance, say to 200 yards. I get the wind right, I get the sun right, and then I gotta come in quiet, and I gotta come in slow. And I really like these because not only are they comfortable, they're soft and quiet, but cactus thorns do not penetrate these. And that's a big deal out here in the Arizona desert, where it seems everything pricks you, scratches you, claws you. Uh, so these are, are great to have out here, but let's put them on. Um, so when I get to within 200 yards, I'll slide off my boots. Normally I will wear a liner sock and one merino wool sock, but I just have tube socks on for this demonstration. And I've had these stockasins here, as I said, for about five years, and I've probably had these out, oh, I don't know, two or three dozen stocks on desert mule deer bucks and coos bucks. They hold, they're holding up really good. These were a custom pair when I ordered them years ago. They made them in black with a great contrast. But essentially, that's what they are, just moccasin booties. Um, like I say, usually with a wool sock, one pair of wool socks is fine. Sometimes I'll slip in a little uh, padded insole that has a little more arch support with these. Uh, so occasionally I will do that. But you heard me walk in. So 
So they're much quieter than the hard rubber lug sole boots. But you need these kind of boots in the desert because you're covering miles. You're hiking miles and glassing from high points down. But uh, so you need the support of a good hiking boot and the tread because you're going up some pretty steep inclines and declines on the hills. So you need support. But when I'm down in the desert wash and I'm at that 200 yard point, I always switch to these Stockison stocking shoes. Take these off and try on my others. Now these are the new ones. That's how much I like these. I actually bought a second pair. Not because the first ones are worn out by any means. I still got a few years left on these. But just to try and have a second pair. One thing I know is it's always kind of hard to tell which is the right and left foot. So I always have to look at these a little bit. But this is the new version. And what they've done is they've gone away from that slick, almost Naga hide finish leather. And they've gone into this new buck. And uh, these have been on probably oh, 12 or so stocks just this January 2023. And you can see the wear on these is almost nothing. But the fact is I used to take off my boots and use a couple pairs of wool, old wool socks. Well, the wool socks picked up a lot of briars and thorns and stickers and the cactus spines go right through them. So um, for me, stalking deer, archery deer out here in the desert, uh, these are just a necessity. These new, new buck stockasins, they're going to be my go-to stocking shoe. And I'll save my old ones as a backup if needed. One thing of note, when you're out in the desert and you start a stock and you stop and take off your boots and put on your stocking footwear, whatever you use, I always make sure, especially in the desert here, to use your phone and or inReach GPS device and set a pin or a waypoint of where you leave your boots. I learned that the hard way once where I was out stalking in the desert and I got inside of 200 yards and all of a sudden as the deer got up and moved that stalk turned in to well over a six, 800 yard stalk in these stockasins. And that's what really impressed me about these is on that long stalk, my feet weren't sore at all. Well, I've got a few scars on my lower legs. I didn't have my snake gaiters or my gaiters on and I was going through some cat claw and such here in the desert. You can see I got a few nicks on the leg skin here. So like I say, everything in this desert pricks you, stings you, or claws you. And sometimes if they're creatures, they bite you and sting you too. But anyway, it's a good looking booty. Like I say, they're not ultra quiet. You still have to 
be careful where you place your feet when you're walking and in loose rocks you can still make noise so you make sure to pick up your feet and these rocks are very sharp and they're very rough but they don't hurt my feet at all through these moccasins. I think this new buck material they're using is a big improvement on my old ones. I, uh, the bottoms are so good because I would always wear an old wool sock over these because I found uh, this even though this is leather it has that naga hide type finish and these were a little bit slippery and a little bit noisier but these are going to be my backup and these new new bucks this is my go-to stocking shoe I hope you enjoyed this video there'll be a link in my description for the company that makes these stockasins. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up icon to stay tuned for new gear reviews, how to, and other hunting and fishing videos. For new releases, click the red subscribe button. A big thank you to those who've subscribed to my channel. I hope you all have enjoyed watching these videos and hopefully you learned something to take with you on your ventures and quests into the great outdoors. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Mav Hunter out. Rabbits.